Pochou. A pessoa boa. Oh lord. Hmm? Taking his hair out. Finally watching my I lost my keys, but Mar found my necklace. I still gotta find my keys, guys. What's going on? Official vlogmas day two. <laughs> I'm just gonna target y'all. <laughs> Um, but I posted day one, yay, found a video editor, took me all day. As you saw, I did not have my hair like this yesterday. I took this down yesterday, put it back up today. And that's literally what I've been doing all day, minus the time that it took me to take down Mars hair so I could get his done. I'll show you that in a second. moms a little bit a little bit of backstory about me that i might have mentioned briefly and i'm gonna mention briefly again is that i love to speak i do i like speaking to other people but my favorite thing is to be understood right i think a lot of humans can agree with me we all just want to be understood nobody wants to be misunderstood Right? I have a very poor track record of communication despite my extreme desire to want to be heard and understood. I'm, I'm, I'm a little witty, right? I can tell good jokes. I can fire back relative, relatively quickly. But yet, as I get older, like, you know, I get tongue-tied. Like, I can't always think of things to say. I'm not good at cursing people out. Like, but I can come for you. Like, if I know you pretty well, I can come for you. I can come for you my exes will tell you with my words sometimes i'm very belittling you know i'm very like let me nitpick on the little things because you're making me feel like crap so this is the only thing i can do to make you feel like that bad um even with my homegirls probably like i think that miscommunication has really affected our relationships as well because sometimes i have the best of intentions it just does not come off that way and everyone can say that you know you can say oh i meant well i meant good things by it i didn't mean to make you feel that way but like what does that really mean and end you know what I mean at the end of the day if I feel bad like you did that you know what I mean like so you can say that oh I didn't mean to all you want to and then after a while you can apologize all you want to but I don't care because you do it all the time I'm not very forgiving when it comes to that when it comes to people's words like I'm really big on like say what you said and do what you said you would do and if you deviate from that like because I'm really tough on myself with that too like if I tell myself okay this is what we're gonna do girl and then like I deviate or the plan doesn't go according to According to as it should have then I low-key just want to quit and give up you know what I mean so I feel like that with people sometimes like if people deviate from who they said they were and who they said they would be I want to quit them you know that's relationships for me this year and a little bit of last year I've I've kind of tried to step out of that way of thinking it's hard though right because it's at least 28 29 years where I've thought that way so I've tried to step away from that just a little bit and give humans more of a chance to be human right because I am by far not perfect it makes me a little emotional because I definitely wish I was because I feel like it'd be better it would be, it would be easier right to be perfect to do everything right um but no I do everything wrong I do everything wrong oh so 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 wrong so wrong so wrong 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 and I'm just not the human I thought I was going to be let alone the woman and so this year especially i'm working on forgiveness getting over things see now i can forgive people if you call it forgiveness but i don't get over it i don't let it go i don't forget it and uh there's only a select few people who have experienced true forgiveness for me and to where i have actually gotten 
over it because it still sits there on my chest on my heart you know what I mean it still sits like it still affects me as a human as a woman as a person that I wanted to be it still changes my outlook on life a bit uh, but I am working on letting these things go letting you be a man and you be a woman and making mistakes and giving ourselves opportunities to learn from them holding people accountable but then letting them make the choices that they feel are right for them because you cannot control another human you can only control yourself and your actions right so I just had a conversation with one of my homies all right it was rough I'm not gonna lie to you um I went in as normal Tamarai came out as step away step back and look at it again Tamarai which I'm kind of proud of um I had a whirlwind of emotions just now I thought what the you know what I mean like what what's your problem and then I thought okay I do this all the time so I think there's a red flag there for myself like this happens with every person girl you might be the issue <laughs> What I notice about humans, especially about men, is that there are triggers. There are triggers. I have so many triggers. Woo! But I think that I can handle them pretty well. But there are triggers that cause people to shut down. And they don't even want to try. And it's especially hard when you don't really know that person. Maybe you're just getting to know them. Maybe you've only known them for a little while. Maybe you haven't really interacted with them much. Maybe you've never had this type of situation happened before right so this is rough oh shoot oh i'm stepping on toes how do i apologize oh shoot oh shoot backtrack backtrack so we're communicating i have the best of intentions also i had like my normal intentions of i'm gonna hold you accountable like if i feel if i hear if i if i sense if i have a vibe i'm gonna check you i'm gonna call you out i'm gonna tell you what it is so i'm, I'm like oh okay are you good are you mad you got issues you got problems asking out on questions i'm zooming <laughs> And the response I got was, uh, no, uh, no, there's nothing wrong with me. That's how I heard it, you know, but I think the response that I was supposed to hear was no. There's nothing wrong with me. See the difference? So I went in like, oh, so you're being petty. Oh, so there's an issue. Now, you know what? What I realized is that sometimes people are going to be petty and not admit it. Some, sometimes people are going to go through things and not want to acknowledge them. Sometimes people don't even realize when they are going through things, when they are being petty, because that's not their intention. It's like a defense mechanism for life. So you can't always check every person all the time. You just cannot. And I have been having the worst communication issues with my friends lately and I'm just like it's killing me inside it's eating me away it's really hard for me to let things go I don't like to just like uh okay fine it's over like that's not me I'm like a talker and I'm like let's talk it out and I'm like see how I'm so vulnerable and I'm the victim like I'm the victim like it's me and then nine times out of ten guess what I'm talking to another victim <laughs> <laughs> how can we both be victims we cannot that's the problem so this conversation went left quickly i decided to be the bigger person and attempt the route of being apologetic which was not easy because it also came off mad sarcastic <clears throat> that's what i was told oh so you're being sarcastic now and i'm like shoot i guess it does sound that way let me try to bring more genuineness into my tone Through these types of scenarios, I genuinely look at these other humans like, y'all tripping. It's y'all. Y'all don't know how to talk. Y'all don't know how to communicate. But today, I decided to be smarter and to look at it from me and from my point of view and letting that be a lesson. I looked for ways that I could be humble and apologetic and more genuine. And I think these are areas that I actually struggle in. I consider myself to very much so be these things. However, I've been told a lot that I have somewhat of a cavalier attitude and I genuinely do not come off genuine in those type of scenarios. And I think it's an extreme defense mechanism because who likes to be told that they're not worthy, that they're not the best, that they're not awesome? Not me. Especially with the person I was just talking to because I've never had an upsetting conversation with them. So that was rough. First time for everything. <laughs> and I don't know where that's going to take us uh, in the future if we're still going to be homies or what, but definitely taking this moment as an eye-opener to say work on yourself like we said 29 days to go be our best selves do you but be the best at it because no one else can do us like we can do ourselves <laughs> so this has been vlogmas day two <laughs>